Hi, Brent Tech here with Tech is Made Simple. Just a quick video to let you know that yesterday on the 21st of January 2021, Microsoft released the latest version of Microsoft Edge, which is version 88. So we have gone from version 87 in Microsoft Edge to version 88. And that means also that in the last couple of days, um, Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge, which are both based on the Chromium web browser, have both been updated from version 87 to 88. If you would like to see if you have the update, go to your top right hand corner of Microsoft Edge, click on the three dotted menu, go down to help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And if you haven't updated already, it'll update you automatically, but the, this process will um, be done most, on most people's PCs automatically in the background. And the latest version of Microsoft Edge is version 88.0.0. 075.50, that is the latest official build of Microsoft Edge. So what is new in Microsoft Edge? The first feature I want to look at today is a new search in the sidebar feature. And if you go to any website, let's just go ABC, and I'm going to find some text here. Let's just click on the bachelor, highlight that. And, we'll, and so what you do is now when you highlight a piece of text to search. You just right click on it now and you will see that there's a new searching sidebar for The Bachelor. And you go there and you now have your own dedicated sidebar which brings up all the, the, the um, search um, results for the text you have highlighted and you just right click and you, you, you just select search in sidebar for whatever topic you want to search and that is a very nice handy feature and that Microsoft has released. Now, another feature they have released is when you have a lot of open tabs open, and I think this is still something that's coming to Google Chrome. So in Microsoft Edge, if you have a lot of uh, tabs open, what happens now is, especially if you're on a laptop or a tablet, which obviously run on battery, you have a new sleeping tabs feature. So if you have a lot of tabs open, which you haven't accessed in a, a certain period of time on a laptop and on a tablet, those tabs you are not um, accessing will basically go to sleep because if the more tabs you have open in the browser, in your browser, the more resources you are using and therefore the more power and, and processes you use on your laptop, which means your battery will drain faster and your laptop will be slower. So, or your tablets. So, new feature, sleeping tabs, I think is very handy for the performance of Microsoft Edge. Those tabs you're not using will sleep, and, uh, and I think that is a very handy feature. The next thing we're going to look at is, um, the, if you go to your three-dotted menu again, and you go down to settings, yeah, in sync they have updated some settings. You go your profile and then you click on sync and now you are able to sync your history and your open tabs between your uh, Microsoft Edge devices which you are running Microsoft Edge on. What does that mean? So if you are signed into Microsoft Edge with a Microsoft account and you go from your laptop to your, la to your tablet to say your, uh, your desktop PC and you're signed into Microsoft Edge with with, with, your, um, with the same account, it means that your history now across those devices and your open tabs where you've left off will be synced, which I think is great. This feature has been coming for quite a while, and I see now that it is finally available to sync your history and open tabs in the new Microsoft Edge 88. And then another feature is um, the password generator. Um, it's basically the password generator is um, a new feature when you are um, signing in with a new account or you're changing your password. Microsoft will give you um, basically give you ideas of what pass secure passwords to use. Um, so it creates a sec secure password that it suggests you should use for your new login. And I think that is also great because it gives you um, a lot more security. And then FTP, which is File Transfer Protocol, the same thing happened in um, Google Chrome um, earlier this week, has been, uh, is not um, supported anymore, it is uh, disabled, 
Um, that is because it was not supported and it is an uh, unse unsecure way to browse your, your, the web. So FTP file transfer protocol is also now not supported in the new Microsoft Edge. So I think the new Microsoft Edge is heading in the right direction. And those are some of the um, main features that I can see and have researched in the new Microsoft Edge 88. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.